Hi guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Danny and you're watching Dragon Ears Club. So in today's video, this is number two of three of Jumping Spiders. Woo! So uh, we're going to be looking at my own personal collection of Jumping Spiders in this video today. Um, I've managed to capture a lot of new content of them this week looking extra cute. So I'm looking forward to showing you guys that. Also, I'm going to be talking to you about some general information on them as well throughout the video. Uh, Mr. Carolinensis, our new arrival from last week, it, he now has a name. So thank you everybody who um, did put a suggestion into the comments in last week's video. Uh, the name that I've decided to go with from those suggestions is Bruce. So thank you IJL for that. I'm a massive Batman fan so for me that was a little bit of a no-brainer to be quite honest. Um, it's also given me quite a few um, ideas for names for the next couple of... Uh, arrivals. So, um, leading on from that, next week, in next week's video, um, I'm hoping that we're going to be involved in quite a lot of unboxing. I've got a lot of arrivals coming this week. Unfortunately, we've had a bit of a heat wave in the UK, so a lot of breeders weren't really too comfortable with sending the jumping spiders, which I completely appreciate, and that's absolutely fine. So I was hoping to involve some of their content in this video, but it's likely going to be in next week's video, or I'm going to make a whole new video on them, because there is quite a few coming. I'm very excited. This is such a good week. Uh, but anyway, yeah, was that Without further ado, let's get into today's video. Okay guys, so here we have my male and female regal jumping spiders. You've got the male on the left and the female on the right. So these spiders originate in Southeast America. Typically, male regals are always black with white spots and stripes and grow to approximately 12 millimeters in length whereas females grow to approximately 15 millimeters in length. They vary in color as well from brown, beige and orange. So that makes them quite distinguishable from the males. The regal spider is one of the easiest to sex and can be done so at a much earlier age than other species of jumping spider at approximately in star four. Alright, so next up we have the Bahamas jumping spider. So on the left is the male and on the right is the female. Uh, these guys are probably one of the most sought after jumping spiders in the hobby. So and this no doubt is due to their appearance as well, especially when fully mature. So the males tend to stay a more predominantly black in colour. Um, and they tend to sport a very vivid green and turquoise chilicoray. The females uh, tend to go very beige to an almost snow white in appearance coloration. Uh, some of them do also sport sort of like a sunsetty colour chilicoray. Some of them also have a very vivid pink chilicoray. So these are very sought after spiders. Um, in length, the males tend to grow to about 12 millimetres and the females about 15 millimetres. So they're a little bit smaller than your other jumping spider species. These are probably also a little bit harder to sex as well in the beginning. I'd say if you're planning to sex these, you're probably going to want to wait until they're at least in star five um, before you attempt it. And coming in at number three, we have the Apache jumping spider. So this species is more native to the southwestern states, such as Nebraska, Utah, Texas, and Arizona. This is one of the largest species of jumping spider in the Celticidae family, with the females reaching around 22 millimeters when gravid. These spiders are relatively easy to distinguish, with the males having a solid orange abdomen and the females developing a very distinctive black line. In the wild, Phidippus apachinus spiders have been frequently found on shrubs, cacti and other perennial vegetation in dry, arid areas, dry grasslands and deserts, with elevations of up to 1800 metres. Next up we have the Soroa jumping spider. This is probably one of my personal favourite jumpers due to the beautiful copper coloration that the females tend to display. Female Soroas grow to approximately 15mm and the males approximately 12mm in length. Soroa jumping spiders have a very docile temperament, as do most jumping spider species, and are generally very easy to look after. Soroas typically originate in the more forested areas of Cuba. Thank you. 
next up we have the Phidibus regis apalachicola female, which are an easy to care for species and originate in Florida. These spiders typically grow to between 12 and 15 millimeters and tend to live between one to two years total, as do most jumping spiders. Unfortunately, I do not own a male spider of this species, so this is predominantly footage of my female, who is currently an Instar 6 and only recently molted in the past few days. So I've owned this spider for around about, coming up to about two weeks now, and for the most part I'd say she's been quite shy, sitting in her nest, um, getting ready to molt, not really wanting to come out and interact very much. So she's finished her molt, and today it's like she's had a massive personality change. She's been wanting to come out, she's been jumping on my hand, running around, exploring, completely different spider. It's like she's had a massive personality boost <laughs> and she's probably the most energetic at present of all of my jumping spiders. And last but not least, we have one of my up and coming favourites, which is the Carolinensis jumping spider. These are typically found throughout the southern states of America and Mexico. In the wild, you are more likely to find a Carolinensis spider in more wooded regions, with fully matured spiders gravitating towards steep rocks and buildings for a good vantage point when hunting. This is also true for many other species of jumping spider. In general, this species is typically very easy to keep, but can be trickier to sex from a young age. Typically, you want to look at the size of the pedipalps to ascertain whether they are male or female, as males have thicker, more comma-shaped pedipalps. This concludes the end of video 2. I hope you all really enjoyed the content, and I'll catch you all on the next one. Bye guys!